Breaking news this morning, a massive fire destroys part of the old Yonkers building downtown. We have full coverage of that devastating fire. And we want to get right to KCCI's Ryan Smith. He is at 701 Walnut Street in downtown Des Moines where that fire began this morning. Ryan, what is the latest and what can you tell us? Marcus, these firefighters have been at this for more than seven hours. It's been a true marathon fight for them here in downtown Des Moines. And as the sun has risen, we're getting a better picture of just some of the damage left behind by this massive overnight fire in downtown Des Moines. You can see some, a large chunk of debris has fallen on top of the skywalk. And just above that, multiple firefighters still pumping thousands and thousands of gallons of water onto the old Yonkers building at one time, all eight floors were fully engulfed by flames. Oh! Oh! Cell phone video obtained by KCCI captures a number of floors and walls within this historic downtown building collapsing to the ground. The Des Moines Fire Department received a flood of reports describing flames shooting out of the old Yonkers building. From an office across the street, you can see what firefighters were up against. Fire consumed every floor at 701 Walnut Street. The blaze lit up the downtown skyline and attracted dozens of onlookers. You can hear it several different times you know, as each face of the building fell. Uh, you know, it started to creak and make a little bit of noise, and then just a lot of loud, loud banging and clanging, and then a huge plume of dust and you know, stuff you see on TV and don't usually see it in person. Crews reported the three alarm fire within minutes of being on scene. Those tasked with entering the crumbling structure only made it halfway through their search. Conditions forced firefighters to turn back at the fourth floor. We did an initial uh, movement into the building, but we were turned away rapidly by heat flame and uh, the collapse of both interior and exterior. Heat radiating from the structure caused significant damage to the EMC insurance building and hub tower. The, the aluminum's melting, the glass is starting to peel, it's cracked and they have smoke on multiple floors. No injuries have been reported, but firefighters weren't able to search the entire building. The building is under construction, so fire officials do not believe anyone was inside. Intense. That's about the only way you can put it, intense. And, and a fury of firefighters and cops doing a, doing a wonderful job, you know, keeping people safe and fighting what seems to be a losing battle. I'm told by fire officials it will be at least a few more hours before investigators will be able to go inside and assess the damage and try to determine this fire's cause. Now road closures at this moment remain from Grand Avenue to Mulberry and 6th to 9th Street. So police and firefighters warn if you're going to be coming to the downtown area, please, awo please avoid this center core of the city. Marcus? Now, Ryan, you mentioned in your story that there was no one inside the building because it was empty. So I guess the good news we can take from this is no one was hurt. You also mentioned that this was not the only building affected by the fire earlier this morning, right? Marcus, that's right. I mean, as you can see behind me, this is just in the dead center of downtown. A number of other major downtown buildings uh, are clustered right along it just feet away. And we do know that there has been significant damage to the structure of the EMC insurance building and the hub tower which stand just east and south of the Yonkers building. Ryan Smith, live in downtown Des Moines. Ryan, thank you very much.